Good morning. In this box, I've just had delivered a double wall box by DHL, a couple of Tesla Model 3 UK keys. And uh, the nice thing about this is that we've had them released to us in the UK at the same time as in the States. We haven't had to wait years or anything like that. Uh, many keys have to be programmed at the service center to the car. Um, these, fortunately, you can program yourself, and I'm just going to show you how to do that. First, however, we're going to unbox the keys. So they come in a little black box like this with three on them. There's a security seal here, I think. Only on one side. And the box opens to reveal a classic Tesla key and two CR2032 lithium batteries. Right, in order to fit the battery, you need a uh, said battery, you need a screwdriver to go in here and to flip the bottom of the key off. There it goes. A bit worrying when you do something like that, but uh, these are quite well-made plastics. And the key, uh, sorry, the battery just drops in like so. You have to put it in under the tag there and push, push. Right, having put the battery in, you need to get the cover back on the key. That goes on like so. And it's quite a tight fit, I have to tell you. There it goes, and click. And you're now ready to go and pair the key with your car. Right, in order to set your key up, you'll need your key card. And it's best if you use that to unlock the car, like so. Oh, there's been a midget in here. Sorry, it's my, my wife's tiny. So you go to locks and uh, there are various uh, phones on here that have been used to unlock the car. Unknown key and the dates they were used. Add a key. So I want to add a key fob. Scan your new key to behind cup holder to begin. Now the cup holder on the car is down here. So you just put that on there and it should register straight away. Right. So I need to tap an exist, that's done. I've moved that, you have to slide this around behind here. And then you have to scan your existing key card to approve the pairing. And we're done. So now that now says unknown key and I'm going to edit, no, no, no. I'm going to edit that. We now have an unknown key, this one listed in the list, the new one that's just been added. And if we tap edit, we can name that and call it key and give it a number, say one. So that's going to be my wife's key because it's her car. Card one. And the other card we'll call card two. Edit card two. So we've now named these uh, different means of getting into the car and hopefully this active key which we've just uh, registered will now be able to do various features let's show you how that works on the car well the new key is able to do more features than you could do with the um with the key card for example if i want to unlock the front i can double tap on the uh on the front of the key and there's the front unlocked and you can also unlock the boot of the car from a distance by double tapping the boot and there it is it's just uh, just released and I can now open that without using the switch you still have to close it manually and the frunk as well the other advantage of this key um, over the existing ways of getting into the car is you can switch passive entry on with this key and you have extra security because now um, the key will go inactive and go to sleep if it hasn't been moved in five minutes. So you won't get passive entry if the key's asleep. And you can also lock the car just like with any other Tesla by one press and unlock it with a double press. So it's just like all the other Tesla keys in that respect. Well, there's the summary on what the uh, new key does for the Model 3. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video.